I've realized that if I don't get a good night's sleep, I'm not gonna achieve my full potential. And if I can't achieve my full potential, I can't make my parents proud. In this video, I'm comparing the two best bed cooling systems, the 8 Sleep Pod Pro and the Chili Sleep Dock Pro system. Both of these devices cool the top of your bed. Let's find out which one is better. Oh, these are freaking heavy. I'll talk about the hardware, the software, and how these function and how strong they are at actually cooling your bed. Right now, just looking at the pod devices themselves, we can tell that the Chili Sleep Dock Pro is much shorter. So if you have a bed that's lower, you might be able to slide this underneath your bed. The eight sleep system is a lot taller. So you might have to put this next to your bed. I did get an extremely tall, I think this is 18 inches of a riser and I'm able to fit the eight sleep underneath my bed. I prefer to slide these underneath my bed. Like I don't wanna have it next to my bed. It just takes up extra floor space. Both of these use a water cooling system. As you can see, this is the eight sleep tank. This is the chili sleep tank. They say size doesn't matter. It's how you use the water. On the chili sleep device, we have an on button. We have a up and down for the temperature. So if the temperature is too hot or cold during the night, you can actually come here and turn it on and off. On the eight sleep, you actually have to pull out your phone and have a blaring light in, in your face, in your bed, so that you can change the temperature. The Chili Sleep Dock Pro system does have a little screen right here so that you can see the temperature when it's on. The Eight Sleep has no screen, but there is one button on the back here that is for pairing, and they did add a feature where you can snooze the alarm by pressing this button if you need to. Other than that, there is no actual button. As we're looking at the back, one thing that you can notice on the Eight Sleep system is that it has four little nipples. These nipples feed water into the bed cover that cools the mattress. Whereas the Chili Sleep Dock Pro system only has two little holes. I don't know, maybe it will be just as strong, but I've noticed that with the four, the Eight Sleep has been extremely powerful. I do have the Chili Sleep Uller device, which is like a little pillow. And the same thing, it's got two little hoses in here. This thing honestly just wasn't strong enough, so I stopped using it. And it's a really nice paperweight and dust collecting device. Maybe I should give it away. Does anyone want it? Let me know in the comments. What they've changed with the Uller device is that it's gotten bigger in the new Dock Pro system. It's definitely much taller. Oh my God, look at all this. If you look at these, this is the Chili Sleep Uller, Chili Sleep Dock Pro system, and the Eight Sleep Pod Pro. It's still taller than both of these stacked on one another. This system can feed both sides of the bed, so an entire queen, entire king. Whereas if you want to get an entire queen, you need to get two Dock Pros or two Ullers, which adds up the price. So ideally, if you like to have one main system, one thing to worry about, this is the way to go. If you like to have two, redundancy, then get a Dock Pro. As you can tell, the Eight Sleep Pod Pro is black, so if that fits in with the style of your bedroom, that might be better. The Chili Sleep Dock Pro system is white with a little bit of gray. Definitely different kinds of styles. I think if you have either of these devices and someone comes home with you that night, it's more likely that with the 8Sleep Pod Pro, they're going to Dock Pro wins the form factor competition because they have the buttons and the smaller form factor that will slide underneath the bed. 8Sleep has the coolness factor. It just looks cooler. Like the, I love the all black look, the sleekness. It just looks sexy. Whereas the Dock Pro is just kind of like, it looks like a printer. Like, come on, am I really gonna have a printer in my bedroom? Also, what is this, the 1990s? Who uses a printer anymore? When it comes to setting both these devices up, the 8Sleep Pod Pro system, Definitely has a larger water reservoir. I have had this for almost a year and I haven't even replaced the water. This is how much water is left. For the Chili Sleep, this is a much smaller tank. I'm not really sure how long this is gonna last, but I will have to put it to the test. But one thing you wanna know is when you do get these devices, use distilled water, not regular drinking water, because it can build up bacteria and just residue in there that you don't want because it can ruin the system. So for the A Sleep, you use distilled water plus hydrogen peroxide. With the Chili Sleep, you'll use distilled water and they have this little system cleaner right here. They recommend this using for monthly maintenance. You can use it once every month or you can do a deep clean once every six months. So this is just another thing you have to buy if you do buy the Doc Pro system. Eight Sleep doesn't offer that. They just say hydrogen peroxide. Our system is good enough to figure it out with just that. What's interesting about the Eight Sleep is I was just told by Colt that this fan is a Noctua fan, which is a really expensive computer fan that's meant to keep this device quiet. So that means that Eight Sleep has invested in technology that's gonna help keep the eight sleep quiet. But let's, let's put it to the test. Which one is louder, which one is quieter? So I'm gonna use my Apple Watch for this. Super scientific here. The baseline is gonna be my air filter. That's pretty loud. If I talk, it's gonna get up to 70, 80 decibels. Air filter at max is 70 decibels. It's pretty loud if you could kind of hear that going off. Eight sleep is 44 decibels. Doc Pro is 47 decibels. It's three decibels but I can still actually, I can hear this device. 
Whereas if I go to the eight sleep, it's really hard to hear. Like you have to go to the back. If you're looking at the front, it's pretty quiet. So eight sleep wins the sound competition. Let's put it to the test. I'm gonna set this to low on the Doc Pro. Let's get the eight sleep. Temperature dial all the way to low. 55 is the low on the eight sleep. The Doc Pro is also 55 as a low. I think the Doc Pro goes up to 115. The eight sleep goes up to 110. So if you're really worried about those five degrees of heat, the Doc Pro will win that competition. So they're both around the same temperature. Let's see which one gets faster and how it feels subjectively. 213 right now, I set it to extremely cold. Both of these devices are starting at 78 degrees. I'm cooling them to 55. The Doc Pro has already went from 78 to 72. So feeling wise, the 8 sleep kind of just feels like a regular cover. Can you feel the tubing? Slightly, yes. This one is more of a mesh. Can you feel the tubing? A little bit more. I can feel the tubes more on the Doc Pro cover, but the mesh is also a little rougher. It's kind of stickier too. In terms of temperature wise, they're still pretty warm. So let's give it some more minutes. I'm gonna get my thermal camera. It's been about 20 minutes and it looks like the eight sleep is at about 71 degrees Fahrenheit, cooling to 55. The Doc Pro is at 65 degrees Fahrenheit, cooling to 55. So from this data point, it already looks like the Doc Pro is definitely much faster at cooling. Let's see sensation wise. I wonder if I can still hear that weird water now sound. That water sound is gone, so maybe it just happens at the beginning. Both of these are still kind of warm. They're not that cold. They're hands down much better than the Uller. The question is, can it compete with 8Sleep? I would say they're pretty on par right now. The Doc Pro might be a little colder right now, sensation wise. It's about 82, 83 degrees Fahrenheit in this room right now, and these are set to cool to 55. They are starting to feel cold. It's been about an hour. If I open up the 8Sleep, the Sleep Me app, it's at 61. The 8Sleep is at 64 degrees. So it's definitely, they're both getting cool. They're just not getting cool very fast. It's taking a while. It's been about an hour trying to get to these temperatures. The Doc Pro and the Eight Sleep, definitely worth your money if you're trying to cool your bed. I sleep extremely hot. So these help me, I'm a Middle Eastern man. I run at like 200 million degrees, almost like the sun. And this thing helps me fall asleep, but they're amazing. There is one thing I don't like about their apps though. Both apps, when I try to open them, look, it says connecting, it takes like, about a second or two seconds for the Sleep Me app to connect to the Doc Pro, and then I can adjust the temperature. If I press the 8 Sleep app, as you can see, it takes a little while to load. So if my Wi-Fi is slow or something, then it just takes a little bit. That little loading time just gives me a feeling of like, uh, you know, I'm a millennial. I need things instant. As I put pressure on these, it definitely feels colder. So I think when you're laying down, yeah, it feels cool on my body. Yeah, it feels cool. This is a 15 pound weighted blanket and it has a cooling feature built in. I can actually put, plug in my Uller or Doc Pro. You need a second Uller or Doc Pro to use this on top of your eight sleep or chili sleep cover, whatever one you have. But this does have a feature where I can plug the hose in. It has pipes inside of the weighted blanket and I can cool the weighted blanket. So if you sleep extremely hot, this is the only weighted cooling blanket I could find in existence. I actually don't use it because the cord kind of bothers me. I move around a lot and this moves and then the cord gets stuck in between my feet. But this is a really neat and great idea. It just hasn't kind of worked with me and it's not heavy enough. I need 20 plus pounds as a weighted blanket. It's got a pleated thing on the front. It's a little smooth on the back. And then you do have the plug on the bottom. It's an interesting idea. I'm not in love with it. Something to try if you really, really want cooling and heating features to the next level. The real test is to use a thermal camera. Let's see which one is colder, what they look like on this thermal camera. So as I'm looking at the Chili Sleep right now and the 8 Sleep, the 8 Sleep, you can see it's kind of like a staggered pattern. And then the Doc Pro is like more like circular. This is really interesting. The tubing is more in circles, whereas the 8 Sleep is more like a square pattern. It looks like the Doc Pro is much, much colder than the 8 Sleep just from this thermal camera. And it kind of covers more space, more surface area. So in terms of cooling speed and cooling power, the Doc Pro might be a little more powerful, but the 8 Sleep just takes time to catch up. It still gets cold. It's just a matter of how fast you want it to get cold. It's getting really hot in the summer here in New York and being able to sleep in a cool environment is critical. So far, it's been about 35 minutes, I think. Doc Pro's at 63, 8 Sleep's at 67. This is definitely cooling much faster. They feel cooler, they don't feel cold. I want it to get to that 55. But so far, like, they're pretty good. If the A-Sleep can catch up, it just takes a little longer. Like, there would be no reason to switch to the Doc Pro. If you need something quieter, I would go with the A-Sleep. If you like to have the white noise, the Doc Pro could be a good idea. 
My white noise machine is my air filter. This cover will probably move around a lot more. Whereas the A-Sleep one kind of wraps around the mattress and it can tie on, so it'll stay. The A-Sleep has more smart features. It integrates with other trackers. The A-Sleep only works on Wi-Fi, which is a big issue. If the Wi-Fi goes out, it's not gonna connect. Whereas the Chili Sleep Dock Pro is on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So if one of those goes out, you can still use the app and still connect. I can control it remotely and control it physically here if my internet is out. Let's compare the prices. If you were to get the Dock Pro system and cover your entire queen bed, you could fit two people or one person, but both sides, it's $1,700. If you wanted to get the Queen for the Pod Pro cover, that's $1,600 with the $100 discount. And the Dock Pro system, you'll get two of these hardware units and one massive cover that wraps around your mattress with two units. Whereas the 8 Sleep, you get one unit, one cover, and on both, you can share the app and control each sides of your bed. With the 8 Sleep, there is a $15 a month 8 Plus membership, which I really don't like these subscription things, but they do have that to get their autopilot feature, the sleep content, and some other special coaching and insights. The Doc Pro system, they still haven't offered their uh, sleep tracking and insights yet, but that's to come. They're bringing in sleep tracking, sleep insights. So this is better sleep with deeper insights. This is, still hasn't arrived, but they'll give you sleep cycles, HRV, resting heart rate. So in terms of price, they're pretty much the same price. The only difference is with the Doc Pro, you can get a half queen for $1,000. So if you do wanna save that $400, I would go with the Doc Pro. And if you use my code Shervin, link down below, you can get $300 off on the 8 Sleep Pod. This will only run May 31st to June 6th, 2022. So make sure to buy it within that time period. Any other time, Coach Shervin will add another $50 on top of any other promotion that's running. The Chili Sleep Doc Pro, they don't really give me a discount. And if Chili Sleep does give me a discount, I'll put the code down below. So if you wanna achieve your full potential and make your parents proud, the 8 Sleep and the Doc Pro are great great devices for that. Definitely do not buy the Uller. This thing's a piece. If you're willing to invest a little bit more money, I would go with the 8 Sleep because it covers your entire mattress. It's one unit, one cover, and it's simple. And I feel like the extra added features of the 8 Sleep for that extra couple hundred dollars is definitely better. If you're trying to save every single dollar, then go with the Doc Pro and just get the Mi system for half a queen or whatever the smallest size that you can get. But if you ever do end up in a relationship, which most people do, then you'll have to buy another system. My top recommendation is if you're spending this much money on a cooling mattress topper, go with the 8 Sleep. I just think it just works works better, it covers the entire mattress and you can share it with a partner. I dive deeper into the 8 Sleep features in my 8 Sleep review. Go watch that link down below.